You are familiar with earthquakes, right? People who live on the west coast are undoubtedly aware of the warning signs and dangers of an earthquake, while those of us further from the fault lines are less apt to be aware of it when it is happening. While earthquakes have a settled scientific explanation, what still remains up in the air for the source of its cause are skyquakes. Globalbazaar.com Skyquakes are a phenomenon that have been viewed or, more appropriately, heard around the world. It's like looking up at a beautiful clear blue sky, then all of a sudden you hear the booming sounds of cannon fire and thunder. This is most definitely a real thing, and scientists still aren't sure what causes it. A recent example of this phenomenon hit Alabama in 2017. Close to 2 p.m. on November 17, 2017, people in 15 Alabama counties were startled by a loud boom. Many of these people called 911 unsure of what they had just heard, but they were sure it sounded serious. As is normal now, the government agency responsible, the National Weather Service, responded to the frenzy via tweet, expressing that they had no explanation for the skyquake at the given time. We don't have an answer and we can only hypothesize with you, they said. Thanks for the assurance, a thousand sarcastic Alabamans screamed in response. In all seriousness, they never could provide a credible explanation. According to their scientific instruments, the sound wasn't consistent with the sonic boom of an aircraft because their seismographs did not detect anything. Another hypothesis thrown around by scientists and laypeople alike is the idea that the boom was created by meteors exploding in the atmosphere. However, NASA scientists didn't put much weight into this theory because there wasn't even one witness of a fireball and an exploding meteor or producing that much volume would have been visible to a whole mess of people. Curiously, nearly 900 miles north in Ontario, Canada, at the Elgin Field Infrasound Array, scientists recorded an infrasound wave linked to the sound. Such a recording is only associated with really big sources of energy, like avalanches or rocket launches. If anything, the data just made the skyquake even more of a head-scratcher. While the Alabama example is recent, there have been a plethora of other modern sightings. Written accounts of skyquakes date back hundreds of years. The sound is usually heard somewhere near open water with accounts from Australia to Belgium to Ireland to the Americas. Seneca Lake, New York was the source of a skyquake in the early 1800s. James Fenimore Cooper, best known for The Last of the Mohicans, wrote a short story entitled The Lake Gun in 1850 describing the event. The book also semi-popularized the term Seneca guns in reference to the sound a skyquake makes. The Iroquois Indians also spoke of the sounds with early European settlers. They said that the sound was that of the Great Spirit as it continued to create the earth. I wish we had something more satisfactory to say here at the end, but unfortunately this mystery is genuinely unsolved and there aren't any substantial leads. Any aircraft explanation is debunked just based on the fact that people heard these sounds before airplanes existed. The meteor theories don't hold up if nobody sees a fireball in the sky. The avalanche and volcano theories don't work in places where there is neither snow or volcanoes. The fact that these generally happen near open water also is an odd clue because it doesn't really explain anything at all. We can only hope that some type of software or machinery is invented to accurately categorize and define the sound into some recognizable human term. Thank you for listening and I hope we were able to expand your consciousness. For more information like this, head over to GlobalBazaar.com.